All right, I'm going to be painting uh, the gargoyle bookend, miniature bookends. I have, first I sprayed it with a matte sealer. Then I put a base coat of the elephant gray on them and I have uh, blown them dry with the hair dryer. Now I'm going to take a black wash that I made from a little bit of paint, a little bit, a couple drops of dish soap, and a lot of water. And I just mix it to the consistency I like. And as you can see, I just pull it up the sides and it just drips down. That's kind of the consistency you're looking for. You don't want it real thick, okay? But you don't want this to get bubbled up either on your uh, miniature. So what I'm gonna do is I have my brush loaded. I'm gonna carefully brush it across my miniature. And you can see it's kind of just draining off into the little pockets that are there on the miniature, the little crevices. It's gonna define the tail that's back here. It's gonna define the bricks. So you can see it's gonna define the uh, toe. Now you want that want to let that air dry and we'll come back when that's dried. All right, you're, we're back now. I'm right in the middle of using the dry brush on this. I am taking a little bit of white acrylic paint. I am tapping it off. I put some on my brush and then I am tapping it off so that I don't have very much on my brush and the brush was has not been wet. Now I'm gonna take it across the gargoyle. It's going to highlight all the high areas and leave those low lights from the wash on there. And I try to make them the same. So where I get white going across one, I try to make it go across the second one. And this is going to make their toes pop out and the tail that's on the side here pop out. And their little horns pop out. It looks pretty balanced. Now I'm going to let that dry a little bit and I'm going to spray it with a sealer. 